<laughs> it wasn't a very enjoyable experience, to be honest. Uh, I was his butler, and you don't know whether you're allowed to speak or not, and I didn't know. I couldn't see past his big ears if his wine glasses needed refilled, so it was a very uncomfortable evening. <laughs> oh, my God. He does have some radar dish ears, man. <laughs> Maybe he's part elephant. Listen, if, 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 if you'll grant me a thing, just I wanted to touch on another another couple of things. Um, last time I spoke to you, actually, was down, uh, I was at the, the hunger strike outside City Hall here in Austin. Remember that? Guys protesting. The oh, yeah, I've the met water. you. I thought your voice sounded familiar, John. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I got the word that you were possibly wanting me to do some voiceover work for you. I'd love to talk to you about that and another couple no, of No, no, no. I've, I've told everybody, I'm sick of every ad on the network being my voice. So I want Leanne to do an ad. Yes, I want you to come do an ad. It would be a great, you know, uh, you know having you in that great Scottish accent, uh, uh, you know, talk about the info war and, or, or voice. So give us your number right now. We'll give you a call, put you on the list uh, for voiceovers. Oh, you have his number. All right, brother. We will call you and have you come to an ad. We'll see how it does. God bless you. I appreciate your call. Very interesting call. Uh, Scotland via Austin, Texas. Let's go ahead and talk to Zippy, Zippy Don in Colorado, where the Hemp Fest is going on right now. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, yeah, we had that big distraction, you know, uh, last Sunday, Easter. How much weed did you um, smoke? No, I, I don't smoke that. I'm just joking. I guess I'm racist. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was preparing for you to say that. But, uh, it is racist. Anyhow. Anyway. I mean, uh, I recently watched uh, a documentary a while back. You know, this is old news, you know, the Tommy Chong, a.k.a. Tommy Chong. Watched it and told other people, hey, I didn't know about this. And it happened years ago, and I even seen YouTube reports. Yeah, no, no, Tommy Chong's been on the show probably <coughs> ten times. And now he was set up. And then um, the other guy complains at him for coming on the show. Um, Cheech, uh, what's his real name? Yeah, and so he doesn't come on the show. He's a listener. Go ahead. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess, yeah, my point is, is that, I mean, all four corners of, of the state, you know, of Colorado, there's invisible checkpoints if you have Colorado a license plate. No, no, that's now admitted in the news. When you go in other states, they call it probable cause to pull you over because you might have marijuana. And, man, I would get so mad, say, if Texas legalized marijuana. And then when I pulled into Oklahoma, they pulled me over. They kind of already do that in Louisiana. They sit there waiting when you come across, and it's it's scary because they can just kill you, bury you, and it's, it's kind of racist if you don't let them kill you, even though they're white and you're white. They just, if you don't submit to the billy club in your face, it's racist. God bless you, Zippy Don. That is really bad. You know, I'm out of time here, folks, uh, but we got enough time for maybe one or two more calls. Michael in California, you're on the air, sir. Hey there, Alex. How you doing today, brother? I'm doing all right. I, I hear you. I hear you. Maybe it's because you're racist. No, I'm kidding. Um, hey, I want to briefly cover, I don't know if you saw the pictures that the New York Times uh, most of the corporate established media, if that's what we got to call them now, um, have put out about the Russian troops in Ukraine. I mean, it's the same stuff they were doing in Iraq. I think InfoWars, you guys covered it. Basically taking photos that they did not vet out and publishing them as if Russian troops are in Ukraine. I'm getting sick of the inflammatory remarks and the, and the things that we're doing. In oh, no, I mean, look, look, look they, they, the New York Times probably did the photoshopping. I mean, that, that's what I'm telling you, folks, is that... These people are out of control. But listen, if you're against a war in Ukraine, you're racist. It, it, exactly. No, they actually and, said and that I, two weeks ago. They put out fake flyers saying all Jews must leave Russian areas when it's the Western Ukrainians that have the racist on record. So how do they counter that? We'll just say it's the Russians. Why are you supporting racists, sir? We need to <laughs> nuke Russia. That will fix racism. Right, because that, that's the answer to all our problems. Anyway, now, I just want to thank you again. And I already see it leading to the Asian side of things with, with the Japanese comments coming from Obama centering around the Senkaku Islands. So no, it's all bad. Well, if you don't support China attacking Japan, you're racist. Because the Japanese did attack the Chinese during World War II, so the Chinese think they have a right to attack them. 
And if you're against that, you're a racist. So just learn how all this works, okay? Learn it. Do what you're told or you're called racist. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted